Ian Foster here with a Centercam Deluxe Package unboxing. So, congratulations on your excellent choice. Camera assembly, clip, ring light, and then take all of this business out. And got soft case and a USB, micro USB charge cord for the light. Okay, so we'll deal with clock case last. So our standard video talks about how to set up the camera assembly with the standard clip. I'm gonna cut to the chase and show you the ring light. So here's what we have going on. The ring light is a positive tension clip it's similar in its operation to our standard clip. You notice there's a little block here. You don't need that. That's just for shipping. You notice how that's a certain distance and with that block in there and decreases that distance by almost a half inch. So it allows us to actually ship it in a more consolidated manner. You can throw that away if you like. It's actually going to serve the same purpose if you keep it though. Because then when you put it in your bag as you're traveling, that's going to take up less space in your bag than that. And if you lose it, you can use whatever. You can use sticky notes. You can use a couple of pieces of gum. Like it, The idea is just put a block in there to decrease that distance. There's a lot of thought that went into that. So I just kind of geeked out a little bit because we did think about all that stuff. Okay. So... Center cam assembly. You've got 16 inches of flex tube, five feet total of USB. Now, how do you feed it into this light ring? Kind of depends on your use scenario. What I typically do is I hold it up depending on what kind of video conference I'm going to be on. If I'm going to be on a single person conference like me and another person, I'm going to go upper third right about there. If I'm going to be on a multi-party conference with like three to five people, more, whatever, I'm going to put the center cam in the middle of the screen. And that allows me to actually move the video conference window around so that I'm always looking at the person that's talking and I'm presenting myself well as if I'm attentive. Uh, and I'm also be able to talk to them as if uh, I'm looking at them. So in this though, I'm just going to start a video conference with myself. Um, I'm going to put it right around there. So I put that all together. Boom, boom. I want it right up there. And then, so it doesn't get squirrely on me. I'm actually going to feed it into the back there. I don't actually have enough cable there. So an option for that, depending on use scenario, so I can feed it through that back handle. And then that allows it to get a little bit tighter in the back. Like that. Okay. Now, if you're on a bigger screen though, it'll still work. You just feed it down a little bit farther. There you go. Okay. So, wrap it into place. Pretty good. Now notice this is a beveled screen, so it actually has slant to it and the clip is holding on right there. I'm going to start my meeting so you can see how this works. And you notice the screen is black and that's because center cam has a lens cap. And now the lighting in this scenario, it's not bad. Um, I know that I have natural light over on this side and it's kind of blazing afternoon sun, you know, comes in pretty bright. Um, I don't have any overhead light. So I'm just, you know, uh, I'm making the camera overcompensate. So I'm going to be a little bit more pixelated in this lighting scenario than I would be if I had natural light in front of me 
um, or indirect natural light or, you know, a, a lighting kit or something. So the center cam, the center cam ring light can actually overcome a lot of those scenarios. It's great for travel. It's actually pretty bright. Um, hotel rooms are notoriously dismally lit. So this can overcome a lot of those scenarios. You have three different brightness settings. You have white, you have warm, and you have natural. And so depending on what you want, that seems a little bit bright from my scenario. So I'm probably just gonna go natural like that. Um, but that is essentially how the center cam ring light works. Uh, as far now, we're done with our video conference. We want to pack it all up. And I'm just going to unplug from the back. So take the assembly out. Um, put my lens cap back on. Um, me personally, I once I take the lens cap off, it never goes back on. So uh, the soft case has this little semi-rigid separation compartment and that's to protect the center cam. So the only real rule here is center cam should go in this top compartment so that it has a little bit of protection between the other components of the kit. So you'll see that nice and protected mini or sorry, micro USB charging cord for the ring light. And then ring light, you kind of tuck in there. You can put it actually in the elastic there. You know, not a ton of rules. And then clip and boom, zip it up. Um, there's a mind towards portability with most of the things that we build. I travel quite a bit and I've ended up, you know, doing video conferences all the you know, from small cabins in Alaska to hotel rooms to my actual workstation. So um, it packs nicely and it doesn't waste space because this compresses all the stuff that's actually not being used. You're just going to compress in your travel backpack. Center cam deluxe kit.